Hey guys, hey, what's up guys? What is going on? Welcome back. Hope y'all are doing well. Turkey versus Portugal and that stadium did reflect that it was indeed Turkey versus Portugal. They were a bunch of Turkish fans compared to the Portuguese fans. A whole mess of them. A whole mess of them. And yet it was Portugal that ended up taking the win 3-0. Uh, can I safely say that Portugal dominated, completely demolished Turkey? Uh, in a way, but not exactly. Uh, Turkey did put up a fight. Uh, Turkey did play well. And I'm actually a little bit disappointed because I thought turkey were going to dominate this game i thought well dominate maybe is not the word i thought they were going to surprise uh portugal and even go as far as beat them i thought that turkey were going to beat portugal just because of the you know the portuguese uh, uh when they played against czechia they didn't seem impressive you know they left a lot to be desired especially players like bernardo silva who plays at Manchester city and is just a wizard and he i mean it's just one match obviously it's just one match but there was nothing of that. There was none of that wizardry uh, on the field. And then uh, I, I didn't see the Turkey versus Georgia map, but everybody was talking about it. And I did see the highlights. And wow, uh, that team was impressive. So I thought that's the team that we were going to have today. And, you know, against Portugal, I thought it was going to be a struggle for Portugal. And it didn't end up happening that way. Now, yes, in the beginning, players like, uh, help me out here with the, with the name, Arta Koglu, there was a center and ends up hitting with the outside of his foot. Um, and he was the one that got the closest, I would say, to being able to score for, for Turkey. And then uh, one where he got between uh, Cancelo and uh, Silva, in fact. Uh, really good play. Ends up getting between. This was in the second half, if I'm not mistaken. And takes a shot in uh, Diogo Costa with the save. So they were, and, and there were shots too by, by uh, help me out again with the name, Chan and Laglu from Inter Milan. Um, and then uh, Yisiki. Yes, Yesiki, <laughs> whatever man. Uh, Yesiki uh, also ends up uh, taking. There was a lot of long distance shots, and then Arda Guler coming in to give uh, you know more options to that offense, which I did. I thought he did a really good job uh, coming in. Added the pause, and you could tell he was also looking. He was itching to get a shot himself. That's that's what I was uh, getting off of him. He was itching, and then the second thought was trying to find the space, trying to find a way to thread uh, the ball to one of his teammates. There was in swingers, there was out swingers from him. I don't know if he got a shot in. There, there was, I think there was maybe one shot. He added a good mix to to the game when he came in. Um, I know he had a niggling injury, so that's why he wasn't starting. But uh, he did, in fact, add to the game and to, to the Turkish uh, offense, especially to, to the offense. But it wasn't enough. That Portuguese backline with Pepe Diaz was very, very solid. Very solid and did a really good job at, at holding back the Turkish offense. Mostly Mendes. Mendes, I thought, had a really, really good match. I mean, responsible for the first goal uh, and uh, the combination with Leao. Uh, that understanding, the, the underlap and then the drag back. And uh, funny, Ronaldo couldn't get to it. He kind of tripped. And uh, Silva, Silva. The goalie did get a, a hand to it. But Silva with the rocket, I mean, too hard of a shot, and it ended up uh, going in. Mendes had a, a really good game going up and, and defending too, going down. I mean, just plenty of legs. Doesn't get tired. Really good stamina. And mostly offensively, just very impressive from Mendes. Cancelo just sometimes wants to dribble a little bit too much. Should uh, should make the pass before. Okay, you dribble one guy, you know, pass the ball already. Pass the ball. You're not going to get that one. Not from Cancelo. He's really good at, at the take-ons, and, and I like that. That's one of the qualities that I do uh, admire about him. But you get past one guy and then pass the ball that's it and it's funny because the second goal the own goal was actually a mispass it was a it was a horrible decision from Cancelo passing it to Ronaldo and Ronaldo's like do you really expect me to get to that ball bro come on with these legs at this stage at this point in my career I'm not gonna get that really bad pass by Cancelo and ended up working in their favor with Samet uh passing it back to the to the keeper and the way he also passed the ball like I don't know if you you know what I'm talking about like just like the way you pass it and it has that like underspin uh, yeah, there was no way. Maybe if it was just like a, a pass with the inside, maybe the defender, which was the closest one, uh, maybe he would have gotten it out. Maybe. Who knows? But uh, yeah, they got the own goal. And after that, it just fell. The, the game just lost momentum for Turkey. And Turkey was just uh, demoralized after that. And the third goal, obviously, just it was it was the end. And that's that's really unfortunate because the third goal came in the 55th minute. So it was really early on in the second half. And there was plenty of football to be played. But the game was pretty much done by, by then. And what's most impressive of, of everything, I was just reeling back, is that Cristiano Ronaldo actually passed the ball. On a 1v1 against the keeper, he ends up taking Bruno Fernandes as an option to, to score. I don't know. I was thinking... And, I, and then I was like, no, I had to correct myself. I was like, no, there's no way he, he he did it because of that. Did he do it because he didn't feel as confident? Is he losing that pizzazz, that magic, that that just pretty much that confidence in, in himself? 
and there's no way this man is ego if you look up the word ego you're gonna see his face his face and maybe donald trump but it's definitely not that 10 out of 10 times i would say okay nine out of 10 times that cristiano ronaldo v one v one against a, a keeper he's gonna score so that was a very bizarre thing that i saw today cristiano ronaldo passing when he himself could have taken the shot somebody else another player i would have taken it but as soon as he had the ball i think everybody thought that he was gonna take the the play him and messi are the probably the only ones i'd go with messi first and then Cristiano Ronaldo in a 1v1. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, he ended up passing it to Bruno Fernandes for complete reassurance, and uh, Bruno Fernandes gets the goal. Um, Vitinha, I thought he had a good game. Sometimes, sometimes he lost. There was once that he lost the ball, and Turkey took advantage of that, but nothing ended up happening. Uh, Cancelo, again, with the irregularity, just trying to dribble a little bit, one too much, the imprecise passing. Uh, Bernardo Silva wasn't towards the end. He had a back-to-back -back opportunity to be able to score. And the second one, beautiful combination between three, four players and Ronaldo giving it back to him. And Ronaldo could have been selfish. He could have turned around and he could have shot it himself. Ends up playing it back to Bernardo Silva. And instead of giving it back to him and opening it, I think opening it to maybe it was Bruno Fernandes, he ends up taking this. It wasn't even a shot. It wasn't even like a, like a banger. He was just trying to shoot it with less power. And uh, it ends up getting blocked. Instead of having Cristiano Ronaldo just play it back against a Cristiano Ronaldo. Nobody would have saw that one coming, you know? Um, so yeah, there was that from Bernardo Silva. Just really weird. It wasn't, wasn't passing it to Cristiano Ronaldo when he needed to be. And trust me, I am one not to... Because that was the problem in the beginning of the of the first game against Czechia was that everybody felt that they needed to pass it to Cristiano Ronaldo but then th he did the opposite in this one not giving Ronaldo a single pass I think I saw the only one that gave a pass to Cristiano Ronaldo was for the third goal I think it was Nevis and the Turkish uh, defender trying to catch uh, Cristiano Ronaldo offside and instead plays him onside so that's the only way that Cristiano Ronaldo was actually going to get a uh, a, a pass to him, you know, behind the shoulder of uh, the Turkish defenders. So other than that, really good match from Portugal. Uh, definitely impressed. Definitely impressed. I hope they keep this up. It'd be interesting to see them play just the way they're playing in this manner, play against uh, the bigger teams and uh, not lose that momentum. I think they could go really far the way they play today. I think they could go really far. Just a couple things that they have to kind of work out. Pepe. Oh, Pepe's another one that I mean, at 41, that's insane. At 41, he's playing like he was at Real Madrid or something. Very impressive from, from Pepe. So hopefully could keep this up because it's it seems that Portugal indeed not only have a really good squad on paper, but they're actually making things work. And it looks like they're a team that it's going to take them a, a couple of games to fine tune that and get into their best football. Anyways, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. That's all I have for today. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.